गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज तुमका वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ टू ड्रॉ वेपर डोम नाउ बिफोर यू स्टार्ट ड्राइंग दिस यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट दिस इज नॉट दैट इजी बिकॉज फॉर ड्राइंग वेपर डोम यू शुड नो द प्रॉपर्टीज द सेचुरेशन प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस लेट एस आई एम ड्राइंग फॉर वाटर सो आई शुड शुड नो इफ आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन PV diagram, then I should know what is the specific volume uh, for saturated vapor and saturated liquid at a particular pressure. If I am drawing TS diagram, then I should know what is the um, uh, entropy for of saturated vapor and saturated liquid at a particular temperature. Then only that is possible. So in a nutshell, I should have my steam table with me in the Python. So there is a module already built by several people. Several people have worked on that particular module, and that is in uh, final uh, shape. And the module is called as uh, Pyromat. So what you can do is, you can go to your Anaconda, and open the terminal there, and simply say pip install pip install Pyromat. Okay, the Pyromat will be installed, and then you can come to Jupyter Notebook, and then. You should say from Pyromat import everything. Now, once this is done, then you have to go for units. So you have to use config, and then you should write the unit pressure because we uh, normally deal with kilopascal, so it is kPa. Remember, P is capital. Once this is done. You should call the specific uh, fluid from this particular library. So I want water H two O. So let me call that variable as water, and then I'll be using get function. Then now what I need multi-phase properties of water. So M P stands for multi-phase, and then H capital two, and then O capital. Done. Now let us say I want the saturation temperature corresponding to let us say uh, uh, what ten uh, thousand uh, pascal. Okay, so let us say T is the temperature. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be using water the variable and then the method that is T S saturation temperature corresponding to this T and uh, the pressure. Corresponding to this pressure, sorry, let us say ten thousand. So what is T? T is five eighty four point one four seven. Remember this value is in Kelvin. Okay, so in this way I can go. Or if I want the uh, entropy, so this is S S. So let let me name this is S. So what is S? S is basically two values. That means this is S zero. This is basically a tuple, returning a tuple. So this is S zero means saturated uh, liquid, and this is saturated vapor. So if you want the enthalpy, saturation enthalpy, so this is H S. So if you run this and ask for H, so this is saturated liquid. This is saturated vapor. If you want the volume, volume you will not be getting directly. What you have to do is you have to first find out the density. So let us say this is the one. So the method is dot ds. Ds stands for density saturation density. So now this is the one. And if you want the volume, so what you do is you saturated liquid volume Vf that will be one by the density saturated liquid one, which is this. That is the zeroth in at the zeroth index. And likewise Vg will be one by at the first index so this is the first one so in this way if you want what is if you want to check what is vf so this is the saturated liquid at uh, the specific volume at uh, the pressure that is uh, 10000 pascal and likewise what is vg it is 0.018 in this way you can search for the properties from this particular table it is very easy now the question is how to plot ts and pv and if Uh, let us say hs diagram and that is vapor dome basically so you do what first you make an array of pressure so p is equal to lin space 
So for that matter, what you have to do is let me keep this here aside. Open a new uh, cell. So from uh, PyLab, import everything, and then p lin space, and then uh, starting from not zero. Remember it the the starting uh, point of data value which is there in Pyromat is triple point. So it is uh, zero point. Uh, uh, 06 I think na? so that you should start from 1 because that is the triple point so comma the critical to 220 point something so it is 2 2 let us say 0 and uh, 6 3 till let us say in totality uh, 2000 points are there okay let me check okay done now I'll be using the method which I have used previously to know the saturation temperature. So T is equal to water dot TS. Now corresponding to what pressure now I'm passing this whole array. So that's it. If you want to check what is this. So this is your temperature. That is saturation temperature corresponding to pressure varies from 1 to 22063. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So, uh, 22063 mm. it is uh, kilopascal no I, I was wrong previously it was kilopascal because the unit basically kilopascal <laughs> okay now once temperature is known to you now let us try to find out what is the entropy so s is equal to again the same thing water dot ss corresponding to this pressure Likewise, if you want the enthalpy, then water HS corresponding to this pressure. Or if you want the density, so this is water corresponding, sorry, DS corresponding to this pressure. Done. Now, next is to plot them. So, what to plot? This S will return what? This S will return two things. First, for saturated liquid and then for saturated vapor. So, if I have to plot the entropy versus temperature then first it is s0 s0 for saturated liquid and then comma then t let us say it is of red color and then simply say show so this is your plot for the saturated liquid curve this is your saturated liquid curve likewise what you can do is you go for plotting saturated vapor as well so this is your vapor dome so you can also say uh, x label and that is uh, entropy y label it is temperature so friends this is your temperature entropy plot that is vapor dome in ts okay now if you want to go for pv that is very important so density you have already evaluated so you should know what is vf and density is there what is vf and vg and last uh, very um, uh, in the in a few minutes back i have told you that how to find out the vf and vg from here so what is vf vf is the inverse of the density for saturated liquid so it is this and likewise what is vg it is inverse of this value that is uh, the first index of the tuple once that is done let me check okay it is done then it's time to plot simply say plot the vf comma p let us say with red color okay i have to show this done now the real problem starts in your lecture on thermodynamics that is specifically properties of your substance your teacher might have told you that the uh, increase in the volume while the water changes its phase from liquid to vapor is immense and he might have shown that uh, line with a broken uh, arrows so that it can tell you that there is a huge extent in the volume so you will be able to see that here very soon so plot vg comma p and let us say it is with a blue color okay now oh 
where is the plot where is the dome dome is here but you can see the uh, increment in the volume it is tremendous okay so you have to uh, bring this volume in control so you have to make the limit x limit so it is say uh, 10 to the power minus 4 to some 10 to the power minus 1 now this is your vapor dome and if you want to give the limit uh, labels so uh, x label uh, it is uh, volume and y oops, sorry y label is your pressure so this is your pv diagram pressure versus volume so you can very well appreciate the fact that the increment in the volume is tremendous now likewise you can go for others also uh, likewise you can go for others also and um, in this way you can draw your vapor dome remember uh, initially i told you that it is in pascal no sorry the unit we have already taken in, in taken is in kilo pascal so everything whatsoever we'll be doing is in kilo pascal and at the same time the temperature should be in kelvin okay so in this way you can draw your vapor dome or if you want the hs diagram that can also be done so enthalpy you have already evaluated okay so you can go for plot hs so x axis it is entropy so s0 comma h0 comma with some red color and then show let me copy this as well and this is s1 h1 and then show now this is your uh, change the color let us say it is green so this is saturated vapor this is saturated liquid you already know the critical point is somewhat shifted towards left and at this particular point the isobar will be having a slope exact isobar are always having a slope equal to the absolute temperature and here it is almost touching so in this way friends you can draw your vapor dome in hs pv ts or even you can go for a pt curve as well so plot Mm, pressure versus temperature temperature is in x axis so t p and uh, with some red color let us say okay and then show what is the, oh p is small so that is what because this is just the vaporization curve okay you can go for uh, ph curve plot p comma h so let us say zero and uh, some uh, some red color and likewise uh, saturated vapor also p comma h1 let us say blue color oh sorry i forgot to show this that's it oh ph oh sorry 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 h <laughs> p is in uh, vertical axis so it should be this H is in horizontal axis. What mistake I did? Uh, I forgot to put comma. So this is your pH curve. So in this way, you can draw dome at uh, for different uh, uh, variables. So I hope you have liked this video, and in fact, you have understood that how to use the pyromat uh, library to import the steam table data or whatsoever property data from there. So thank you very much. Take very good care of yourself. Bye.